Is it better to use spray foam or fiberglass to insulate your crawl space? Let's talk about it. Welcome to Foam University. Today we're going to discuss the best type of insulation for your crawl space. We're going to specifically be looking at spray foam and fiberglass. Before we get into this too much, please go below, hit that like button for us, it really helps us out. First thing we're going to be looking at is fiberglass. So there's a few things that you should really keep in mind when you're considering fiberglass for potentially insulating your crawl space. The first thing is fiberglass will usually be the least expensive option that you can choose from. And the next thing is it's usually readily available at a lot of different places. You can go to almost any big box hardware store and pick from a number of different types of fiberglass at different depths, thicknesses, and different things like that. And lastly, a big benefit to potentially using fiberglass is you can do it yourself. If you're a DIY type of person, you like to be handy and you like to do most of your projects on your home yourself, fiberglass is a good option for that solely because like I said, it's readily available at most places. It's usually the least costly option to you. So if you want to do it yourself, fiberglass could be a good option. So now let's take a look at spray foam and some of the benefits that that offers. So now if you're considering using spray foam to insulate your crawl space, some things to keep in mind are, it's usually going to be the most expensive option out there. So this is the complete opposite of fiberglass. And some of the things that make it the most expensive is one, the material itself is quite costly. And it's almost never a DIY type of setup. You will have to hire a professional contractor who brings out a truck and trailer system to do that install for you. Now, of course, those are some of the potential downsides, but now let's look at some of the benefits to using spray foam. One, it establishes that air seal. And we talk about how important an air seal is when you're establishing the building envelope on the outermost layer of your building. And being that your crawl space is the bottom, keep in mind that is an area where you get a lot of drafts coming in, a big temperature difference on the inside and the outside of the house right there at the crawl space. So it's crucial to have that air seal present. The next thing is just being an insulator, having a strong thermal resistive property. And that's where spray foam really shines also. Because of the cell structure, it really bodes well to having a strong heat transfer resistance. So if you're looking at something as an insulation for your crawl space, again, simply you want a good insulator, which we talked about for spray foam, and it's crucial for an area like a crawl space with a lot of gaps and crevices where air can come in and out of the house. And of course, again, you have strong temperature differences from the inside and the outside. So you want that air seal to resist any potential moisture issues. Some things to keep in mind when you're considering spray foam. And now let's compare them both. So we've looked at both fiberglass and spray foam for insulating your crawl space. Which is better and what's best for you and your home? Well, you really have to ask yourself a few questions. What is important to you? Do you care more about the cost of the project? Is performance the buy all biggest factor in your calculations? Or do you want something that you can do yourself? Do you wanna to go to the store, pick something up, install yourself in the weekend, have that sense of accomplishment when the project is done? what is most important to you. If you absolutely need the best performing product out there, spray foam's your answer. If you wanna learn more about insulating your crawl space, please check out the link below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to see all of our notifications.